fire department. We used to have the same program as well. And we love to work together. Our goal here at the fire department is to make sure everybody's got a smoke detector in their home. And you want that's to follow hilarious. all the measures, what's that? even if you're not the yeah. best person safe. Okay? Yes, that's the Get up here. You guys know. You guys call me give me a phone number with my fire engine? 911. 911. Go back to safety. Uh, safety. Uh, safety. Uh, safety. Uh, safety. Uh, safety. All right, so it's a fun fact. All right, do you guys know that the majority of your accidents happen? at night in your home for fires. One in five of fires in your home, all right? You guys know which room is catches on fire the most? The bedroom, all right? That's why you have to have smoke detectors in the bedroom. Um, do you guys know why we celebrate or why we do this during this week every single year? Does anybody know why? Why are we going to the room and they let you like look at it. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, that's okay. Yeah, I appreciate you. Someone has like we a little flare. We're almost ready. I hope they do that on ticket first so it's a bigger flare. Yeah, it's raining! Oh Alright, so the first room we're going to do here is our unprotected room. You know Westchester is one of the only community, one of the few communities is actually a sprinkler community. That means if there's any new construction, that means you have to have to actually put a sprinkler in your home. It's fantastic. It's a great thing. All right. This room, this room here, only has a smoke detector. Now, you guys are exponentially growing. Okay. Back in the day, everything used to actually be made out of cotton and wood. Now today, everything's made out of plastic and all these extra fibers. Well, these new fibers actually burn a lot hotter. So your average temperature in a, in a house fire could be anywhere from 500 to 1,000 degrees. Today's house fire is 1,500 to 2,000 degrees. That's pretty hot. That's even hot for us. All right? You ready to get underway? All right, here we go. So, this room, you're in your home, you're sleeping, because most fires happen at night. All right? We have our smoke detector in that room. Oh, I can see right. I saw Let's it. see how quickly that smoke detector goes off. It's in there. Look, it's, it's smoking. All right, so you're sleeping. Oh, Get ready to go to the room. Yeah, it's turning red. All right. There's a fire. All right, we don't know about it because it's small right now. All right. Now we're only about 30 seconds into this, okay? So we're going to see how fast this goes. They say that average is about two minutes or less. Alright, we're right around 45 seconds. You guys see the fire? Yeah, it's getting really smoky, huh? Can't believe. If there's a fire, where do you guys want? Do you want to get out? Are you going to walk out or are you guys going to crawl on the floor? Crawl on the floor because the air is fresh down here. All right. That was one minute. When you hear this sound, what do you guys do? Do you stay inside? No. No, we'll get out. Do we all have our same team spot to go? Yep. All right. Unless Tonight you, you guys are going to figure you know, one out. You have like all right. That's thing. one minute. All right. Yeah. At this point, Mom is going to wake up to figure out what's going on. What's the furniture going to set up? Who are we going to call now? Why is they starting it? They started it. 911. That's right. So it's raining. Okay. So right now you're making a phone call on your cell phone to 911. Okay. You're dispatched. Call the department right now. The firemen are waking up. They're just going to go tonight. They're coming down to the fire list and they're putting on their gear. They're getting ready to get in the rig, okay? Oh, there it is. The curtain starts. Yeah, there we go. And right about three minutes, okay? Oh, 
Okay, see how fast that fire's going down? All right. Now we go back inside. There's a fire. We stay out, right? We don't go back in. All right. Right now, that's about two to three hundred degrees. Okay. You can see everything starts to really take off now. Top of the ceiling and start to bank back down. Okay? You guys are totally safe, okay? Here's the guys, right here. Alright, you guys feel the heat? Maybe a little? Just wait. It's cold. Now, what you guys are going to see. Oh, there you go. See the plastic melting. Now what you're going to see is everything in that room catch on fire. That's oh, what we're going to call a flashover. Okay? We don't want to be in that room, not even us. Right now we're right around four minutes. Four minutes. The fire, fire department's coming. Pretty good, huh? Yeah, yeah. All right. The flames are turning black. Right about now, the fire department is arriving on, at your house, okay? The guys are getting ready. They're pulling the hose, trying to figure out what's going on. They're making sure you guys are out. Safe. All right? That's pretty hot. Now the plants have very poor plants. Oh, well, this is going on. The firemen are establishing a water line. What's the, what's the thing that the firemen use to get water? What's that thing called? Little red guy. The firemen are going to go now. Should be going through the door, advancing a hose line to the roof. That's a really strong thing. Why is it just that? All right, where are you guys go? We're going to come in and put out the fire. All right. Whoa, a little bad. Look at all those smoke Whoa, smoke. Look at all that smoke. Good job. All right, here you go. Those the guys? All right, yeah, I'll give a round of applause. Good job, guys. The fire's job is not over now. He's a speaker for the fire, but we gotta make sure there's no fire hidden. So firefighter is going to come in there and do what we call overhaul. Okay? They're going to go in there and make sure everything is wet and not on fire. Hey. So you see, uh, the firefighter person there has got what we call the pipe pole, and he uses that to move stuff around. See? There's a fire in the back. That's why we're not done. He's going to pull that away, and we're going to edit some more. We never leave until the job's done. Now, from the time that fire started to when the firefighters first put water on it was between eight and nine minutes. Eight and nine minutes. When you realize that all this money is going to be there, I'm going to be there. You know how to go from the fire sprinkler protected. Look at that. Oh, yep, look out guys, the water's coming that way, sorry about that. Alright. Now, do you see how my firefighters are dressed? Can you tell who this person is, even if you knew him? Nope. How about this? Can you tell who this person is, even if you knew him? Nope. They have to wear special air bottles, okay? Air bottles protect their lungs and it protects their air. Oh, yeah. Alright, good deal. Nice job, guys. Alright. Uh -oh. oh, no. A one upper. No, we're going to say a little bit more. How about, I'm going to take a guess, okay? This is a big number. 357,000 fires on average after the United States every year. Alright, we got our other fire going. Okay. 
You guys see? See the fire? All right, same fire in your house. This one looks like it's in our living room. Watch the bears game in there, right? Go bears. See how quickly that smoke detector reacts? The whole point of that smoke detector to go off early is for to buy you time to get out. That smoke detector went off in 15 seconds. That's pretty fast. That's a good one. Right about now is about a minute to two minutes. You guys are calling 911 outside of your house, okay? Very important to be outside of your house. Have you guys tried to bring your cats and your dogs with you? Good try. But we'll let you go. So there's the fire. All right, we're only about a minute and a half. All right. The sprinkler was activated. So that means, for that sprinkler to activate, it's got to be between 130 and 160 degrees Fahrenheit. So just that small amount of fire was able to activate that sprinkler. Look at what it's doing. The fire department's not going to be here for six more minutes still. This doesn't take that much time. Is that fire pretty much out? Yeah, it's going to stop. Now, there's some myths about sprinkler systems. The only, it doesn't mean every sprinkler system in your house is going to go off. It's only the one that's been activated. And it's a lot easier to dry something out. You can't unburn things, but you can dry them out. The sprinklers work? I think so. 